from my point of view, there is nothing more exciting than the work that gives us back to ourselves, the work that allows us to actually become conscious creators with this amazing thing called our lives and the universe that is breathing us. So mm, we are here to become masters at being able to be in this world and in our bodies in a more powerful way. These inner fitness workouts, I want you to think of them the same way you think of yoga. You go to yoga, there are basic asanas, there's basic information, but your body shows up to that information differently every time. And what's beautiful about that is that your body becomes more and more adapted to the work and it allows you to go deeper and it allows you to stretch more and experience more of yourself and it's the exact same way with the inner fitness work today we are actually going to drill down on um seeing what needs to be seen so that you actually have strategies and getting in the habit of setting an intention for our lives, getting in the habit of having a clear vision, getting in the habit of, of engaging our imagination in service to our lives is the habit that becomes a way of life that turns us into masters of living. So the first question is, um, why is it even important for you to see what needs to be seen? So in the Little Book of Book Lies, we talk about the distortions that come with life. So a distortion is any event any experience, any um, person, place, or experience where you lost sight of who you are, where some part of you uh, got disconnected from yourself. You began to feel like you weren't good enough, smart enough, um, that in some way you were less than. Any event that takes us away from ourselves is a distortion. And the problem with the distortion is that if you can't see yourself clearly, then you behave in alignment with the distortion. And what we want to do and what the work of inner fitness does in the same way that physical fitness is always moving us to exercise our muscles in a way that strengthens our body. And inner fitness allows us to strengthen our inner sense of self, our flexibility in this thing called life so that we can navigate it with greater strength, flexibility, mastery, freedom. So we want to see because when we can see, we can move the distortions out of the way. So I'm gonna ask you to um, think about for a moment, some event experience, it doesn't matter if it just happened this week or if it happened 10 years ago, that allowed you or, or distorted you, left you not seeing yourself clearly. And I'm gonna act, I'm gonna suggest that you, you know, there's tons of them. We we all have tons. Stay away from the ones right this moment that have a lot of juice that you know are your triggers. We want to use these workouts to learn the concepts and practice the concepts uh, in areas that we have more management over, and then in workshops and through. Uh, coaching and through therapy 
you can actually take these skills in more effectively than address the more challenging areas. Just come up with some, some simple little experience that left you feeling distorted. Then the question is, if in fact we all are having distortions, ways in which we uh, need to reclaim ourselves and not just reclaim ourselves, you know, because of something that happened yesterday, but we actually need to have the skill of reclaiming ourselves all the time because life is bumping into life, creating more life all the time. And if we don't know how to reclaim ourselves, if we don't know how to create distance between ourselves and the events that are taking place, then we wind up letting those events define us. And when we allow those events to define us, we take those events personally, we become distorted. The question is then, how do we begin to see uh, what needs to be seen? When it comes to seeing what needs to be seen, we have to know where to look. And if we don't have the habit of looking, then we don't know where to look. And so there are two, actually, I'm going to suggest three areas that can always help you see what needs to be seen, or at least get curious about what needs to be seen. So place number one is the body. There's ways in which the body is communicating or endeavors to communicate with us when we are not congruent with ourselves, when who we want to be is not our experience. When we find ourselves feeling distorted, not able to get back to who we are, it, you can feel it in the body. So your, your uh, opportunity right this moment is to think about those times when you have felt whatever. Where do you feel it? Where does your discomfort show up? Are there any phantom pains that you have? You know, does your back hurt or your neck hurt? Do you find yourself unable to <clears throat> clearly speak up? Do you find yourself flushing in certain circumstances? Looking at and paying attention to your body can indicate that there is something that needs to be seen that you're not seeing. Another place to look is listen to yourself. So you know that um, we, the subconscious, as I said, is always endeavoring to be in alignment with us. Our subconscious is our global memory. It knows what has happened. And the infinite self, um, the thriving part of us is always reaching to reclaim that distorted self, right? So whether you see it or not, there's a part of you that is working on your behalf. And you can see that effort in the things that you say. So if you find yourself like saying certain phrases often. I'm going to take note of that. A phrase might be something like, I can't do that. How often do you tell yourself that you can't? 
how often do you say that you you discount or say you you're not good enough or maybe those aren't the words that come through your mouth but it might be a feeling that you experience in your body that's an indicator that there's a part of you that is living through a distortion and it's time for you to see what needs to be seen are there particular areas that you avoid conversations that you don't go anywhere close to and you haven't acknowledged that the reason you don't go close to those conversations is because there's something in there that you have avoided that you're running from that you're afraid of 